Yes, Diego, we're back. Yeah, it's just stuff for the monkeys. Um, they drink that milk, you know. You've seen it, you've drank it. <laughs> yeah. And Enzo is up there, Diego was there with him. And Diego just comes to check out the stuff that I bought. He always does that. Diego! Look at my shoes, Diego. What do you think about that? <laughs> I showed it to him yesterday and he checked them out and now he sees them on my feet. So he learns that these are shoes. <laughs> what do you think about them, Diego? Do you like them? Uh, well, he would like to have them, but he's not going to wear them. That's one thing I can guarantee. Enzo! <laughs> okay, Enzo, come and say hi. No, he's not coming to say hi. Okay, he is. Here he comes. Come and see this, Enzo. What do you think of these shoes? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Diego <laughs> Okay, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Oh, and when I see katas like this. Well, that's her. I've got a mouse look, but I don't see a mouse around. So I think that's a good thing. Diego <laughs> Okay, well, let me go put all this stuff down, spend some time with the boys. Enzo! <laughs> Friendliest tigers in the world. Just don't feed him. <laughs> okay, friendliest cat in the world is just checking out my new shoes. Do you like them? Yeah, she likes them. Not, maybe not as much as I do, but she likes them. And Hendrik is just happy as well. He's got his, well, other chicken back, healthy. No, that was not the sound of the moon. That was the sound of me getting a message and a truck driving by. But yeah, I know it can sometimes sound like that's the sound of the moon, but it's not. So for any cat in the world has got two choices. Just stay here and be happy, or run towards that little bird over there and face Hendrik. Well, not really Hendrik, but most of the other chickens, the little ones, they tend to chase her real bad. But she chases the little bird, so I guess she's just getting... Look at that. Let me just stop her, because I don't allow this kind of thing. And my little chicken is absolutely great. Let's look at that. Hendrik. I have to wash this car. It's really, really dirty. That's what happens when you have chickens in your garage. And it's a cold day, so there's, there's no way I'm letting them run around in the open air. But for his cat in the world, she can do it because she knows exactly how to spend time in the sun. Like this. And just checking out my new shoes. <laughs> okay, maybe your hands are dirty. Well, they're all getting along very, very well. 
every one of them especially Papriccio <laughs> but he is chasing some cats around and uh, oh as long as he doesn't chase the little one and he really likes the little one not that easy to make videos with Zack and Sachis around <laughs> Good morning, my boy. <laughs> Enzo, are you up? Yeah, he's up. That guy, man, when he sees me, he screams like that <laughs> and he's really, really loud. Okay, here we go, India. And make sure these dogs are all happy. I think they are. They look happy to me. <laughs> Enzo! <laughs> Why can't they just be as calm as Enzo? <laughs> yeah. Enzo! <laughs> Look at that big nose! Look at that big nose, Enzo! <laughs> well, I'm gonna take a chance and say that this chicken is perfect now. She is completely... Well, she doesn't show any signs of what she was showing the other day. And... Okay, it's this one, so <laughs> she's looking even better, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. when you don't know the difference between the chickens, uh, that's a clear sign that they are all healthy, <laughs> but yeah, Hendrik's comb is a little dark over there, and um, it turns red just, well, at any time. But, yeah, they are all healed perfectly fine. Okay, and they are all eating. They are absolutely perfect. Maybe something was in her throat or she might have ate an insect that just was maybe a little poisonous or a leaf. I, well, I did give her mouth to beak. Uh, how can I put it? Re-aspiration, <laughs> but I did taste a leaf of a tree afterwards. So I think she might have ate something that was just not perfectly good for chickens. But she is perfectly fine, and she's still perfectly square. If I've got the right one, yeah. But I think this is. Yeah, I think this is the one. <laughs> the square one. <laughs> Hendrik, you're around. <laughs> okay, so I parked over there. And uh, there's a lot of cars around here. And they are all around my car. And those two guys with the trolleys over there. They are looking after my car. Look at that. I didn't ask them. But I always have a chat with them. And just look at that. They are looking after my car. Nobody can get close to it. 
yeah that just goes to show you guys <laughs> I'm gonna have to give him each a good step Okay, so it's much later already and he is still there and he's got the trolley there and he is looking after my car there he is <laughs> okay so I really like coming to the dump site these days because it gives me that assurance that there's no more cats around I check for cats every time I get here so yeah, there's no cats around here, and I'm very, very happy about that. So, let's get out of here, but at least we threw away a lot of stuff that was lying around, and there's no cats around. Great stuff. Let me get out of here. It makes you sleep better at night. Oh. What's the Diego? <laughs> He's just talking away. I actually started recording a little late. He's just talking like you won't believe. Enzo Key. It's like he's telling me something. What did Enzo do, Diego? <laughs> okay, he was just complaining about Enzo to me. But <laughs> I can see all those leaves on Enzo. I guess he's been running or rolling around. Diego. Oh, and Zaka and Sachis. Okay, and this morning I just put him down next to all the other cats and they don't even find it strange. And he just eats. Yeah, he's adapted. He is now part of the zoo house. <laughs> but he better eat quick. Because these little ones are waiting for him to just make a mistake. Then the food is finished in two seconds. Okay, so last night was really, really cold. I don't think it was as cold as the night before that. But we're talking... Well... At least, let's just say the temperature in Celsius goes into the minus. Now, just look at the difference. That glass and then this one over here. That's the difference you get just by that little bit that it is out of that cold wind. And this little one... Well, he's not this little. Don't believe him. He is big. I've seen it. <laughs> when he plays with the other cats, he rules them. They don't have a chance. He just looks like this because he wants to fool you. 
but yeah, he is doing so well. Tigers are sleeping. And everybody is ready for the day. It's a bit cold. I'm going to take him back in now. But I've seen it. <laughs> he is actually quite capable. <laughs> he just looks like this to fool you. This is where the warm blanket is permanently on for the cats. And this little one is just hanging out here. But now he is here as well. And he is playing and just taking over the whole place. Yeah, he is something else. You guys are going to see his personality. He's got a lot of it. He's just holding back. Okay, and let's see how they react. This little one, well, we don't know what happened to his mom, but at least we've got a stepmom cat right here. She raised these little ones absolutely perfect, and I think she's just going to accept him as well. I think she already has. But yeah, she did not forget about these other little ones she just wants to care for little kittens now she's confused i haven't really shown her the little one yet it's only now that she had an opportunity to be face to face but they did realize that there is another kitten around so yeah they are all doing absolutely great And look at these as well. Well, I brought this chinchilla cage in here. Well, not really for the dogs, but for the cats. I, 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 I can see what you want to do. If they turn around like that, you know they want to mark something. And that ain't going to happen, Fabrizio. Well, they are all busy finding their own little spot where they can sleep because it's been cold but I think they are all having they've got a place where they can all be <laughs> Fabrizio yeah all right let me carry on with the rest of the day these cats can keep you busy for so long. Okay, so vegetarian cat is really fat. But <laughs> he's a different kind of fat. He's just got a big stomach. Yeah, he's been eating a lot. The lockdown got him and he was grounded. He couldn't go anywhere and he just had to stay home and eat. And that's what he did. So he did gain a lot of weight, on his, only on his stomach, so it's not that bad. He can just get it off by not eating, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, he is feeling amazing. Boys are sleeping, everyone happy, and it's getting a little warmer, but it was really cold. It's a cold that surprises you, you forget how cold it can get and then all of a sudden it's there but the boys don't really care, they sleep through it all I mean Enzo was still swimming, uh, swimming yesterday and he did not mind the cold one bit okay my hands are freezing and i'm just gonna open up for the boys to go and eat i cleaned the food just now there goes diego there goes enzo i just hope he goes to the food and not to the pool well he will have to hurry up because it is very nice chicken pieces diego don't you worry enzo 
it's that time of the day again when I try and convince Enzo to get out of the pool and eat his food it's not much food these boys have been on a diet for the last about four days and I've really cut down on their food and I don't like doing it but they are looking better already and now Enzo wants to swim come on Enzo Enzo I didn't put a lot of chlorine in the pool I don't put a lot in but it's enough for him to smell it and to go to it oh come on Diego Enzo Enzo well, I'm going to have to keep Diego a little occupied until Enzo comes to eat because if Diego finishes his food now, he's going to finish Enzo's as well because he can eat at least five times this much as they get me right now. So, Enzo. Sometimes tigers makes it a little difficult for you to let them eat. Well, not really all of them. I know of one tiger that really eats easily. Yeah, but then I know another one that rather swims. Come on, Enzo. Eat slowly, Diego. Growl a little first. I think that's going to be the best way to get Enzo to have any food tonight. Enzo! Enzo! He's just ignoring me straight out. And Fabrizio? Oh, Fabrizio, I don't know if you fit through there. Yeah, he does. <laughs> okay. Diego, eat slowly. Enzo! I shouldn't have put any chlorine in the pool right now. Well, the only reason why is because Enzo doesn't go and eat Enzo and I can actually see how he goes to the areas where that little bit of dust from the chlorine goes come on Enzo Enzo come on come see now come get your course okay that was close Enzo and that water is really cold now it's been really cold last night the coldest day i felt in years so that water is freezing and my hands are freezing at the moment but he goes into the pool that just goes to show the limitations that these tigers has they they don't they, they, they don't work according to our limitations they are I'd say all the limitations are set or just increased. So I'm not only saying that they are really tough. I'm also saying that they are really vulnerable. Like for instance, when the little cubs, there is no way that that cub should ever fall. That is, it will not be a good thing. And uh, just like that limitation is set really high when they are big it's really low when they are little so yeah i don't think they ever do fall in nature unless they jump from something high which they won't because they will probably be raised on the ground but i remember the weakest part of well all i haven't raised many tigers but i have paid attention to quite a lot and i'd say the most vulnerable part when they are little is definitely their back legs that should be looked after very very well because that easily gets hurt they are not ready to jump and land when they're little but yeah there diego is done <laughs> <laughs> Diego, are you done? Okay, yeah, he's done. Oh, no, there's no more to protect right now. 
So Enzo is still eating. Okay, Diego. Yeah, Diego. <laughs> Go and drink that little bit of water. I know you like it. <laughs> He's a bit upset because I kept him up to get Enzo to also have dinner tonight. <laughs> Diego. <laughs> Angel just said thanks <laughs> but yeah Diego is something else when it comes to food and you won't take Enzo's food I don't think he will I don't think he can and Enzo is so calm right there just look at that face but yeah well guys that is it I am done for the day now I am also going to go have dinner and uh, my hands are freezing but at least I think we are rid of the mosquitoes. It will be the first time, I think in a few years, that this cold weather would have, well, helped us to get rid of them. Because they were a bit much. Well guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And like always, have a good day.